Hey, hey, what's up, friends? Welcome to a new vlog. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> what's up, guys? We are here in Shargau Island, gonna go explore with some new friends. You ready? Oh, we're ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. We're here at the Shargau Wake Park. I've never been wakeboarding before, so. Be interesting. Yeah, this should be interesting. I'm always down to learn something new though, so let's give it a try. Is that what you can do that? Yeah. I don't have my eyes closed. Yeah. I'm gonna have to because my contacts will fall out. <laughs> <laughs> always wear a life jacket, always wear a helmet. And then basically, if it's really the first time, what we do is we body drag you up and down just to get the feel for it, just to have fun. What's I think that? I just lost all the chances of having babies. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you how to use the wakeboard and then we yeah, just ride. Three things to remember arms straight, mm -hmm. bend your knees, and keep the board up like this. Okay, yeah. cool. Easy to do, really. You have to, all right. that's the easiest thing to learn. So easy to do. So cool. easy, yeah. yeah. Got this. They got another group coming in, so this is gonna be my last ride. And Carson told me if we come here, they have to launch me off the ramp. I just I just learned how to do this. I could barely make a turn, but I guess we're going off the ramp now. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so funny! That was fun! Let's go to Tim! Oh my god! <laughs> So when Carson said they wanted to launch me, I thought they meant like on a board off of the ramp, but no, they meant no board, just right off the dock. <laughs> that was crazy, but a lot of fun. Matukami saroksing karon. Koyo bamo. Koyo bamo. Koyo bamo. Koyo bamo. <laughs> All right, trying to get some local Messiah lessons from this master right here. A lot of people get this confused, but Pema is actually not Filipino. I'm Tibetan. So she's Tibetan, so she does not know the local language here, even though every day we face people trying to speak the local Filipino language to Pema, which is really funny to see. But I maybe mean, we can learn some from him, because he's fluent. So there are multiple languages here in the Philippines. In the northern part of the Philippines, people tend to speak Tagalog, but down here in the central southern part of the Philippines, they speak Visaya. Visaya. Yeah. How long have you been speaking Visaya? Almost three years now. Three years. Maybe I should start learning. Yeah, buddy. I sure. got you. Yeah? All right. Maybe hang out with him a little bit more and I'll start picking up some local dialect. All right, but where are we going now? Pema tried to say it. Can you say it again? We are going to the secret room thing. <laughs> what? In, in the, the well, you you're trying to say it. You're trying to say it in the side. Mm, not gonna go. So rope swing. Hey. Come on. Got it. Is that we it? Got it. Oh. Last part. Cool. He's got rope swing, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very popular rope swing on this island, but he oh, there is. knows a, a more secret rope swing. So we're gonna I try used to. to find we're it. gonna try to find it because yeah, I'm not really sure where it is. But. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find it. Okay guys, confirmed, there's a reason that people do not come to this rope swing, the tourists do not come to this rope swing. There's a road like this leading to it. Whoa. He's just dying. So, quick tip guys, mud is bad for your bike. Grabe ka lalo mga mga paddles during mga lapo. Hey, kami ka, hey, gosh, bro. A rope swing ba? Rope swing up. All right, guys, the bikes have failed. They're not really working right now, so we're going to be hitching a ride with these guys. We were so close to making it to this paved road. <laughs> My scooter, bro. <laughs> so close, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. All right, so these guys just dropped us off at this road. They said the rope swing is up that way. We rode down the street for maybe 10 minutes. It's 
going to be a challenge to get the bikes back. I am so, so muddy. But apparently, we're very close. So we're going to make it. Salamat! Thank you! Thank you! All right, now we have to trek down this little jungle area. I think when we get to the bottom here, this is the river with the rope swing. Whoa, we have made it. This place is beautiful. Water is crystal clear. Thanks for showing us Carson. Thanks Carson. Galoy. <laughs> and now we're gonna try to head back and find our bikes. I mean ours are still functioning, but <laughs> we left. Because, Mine's smoking. Yeah. Engine Literally. stop. <laughs> we're back on the road and there is a truck that looks like it's going that way. I'm not sure if they're gonna let us hitch a ride back because it seems like they're probably working. But we'll it's see. The same truck we rode in. It's the same truck we rode in, obviously. It's the same truck we rode in, the same dude. <laughs> Alright, after waiting for about 15 minutes. They're ready to go. They're gonna give us a ride in this truck back to the bikes and we can see if his is starting. All right, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Will the bike start? We're about to find out. Please, to the love. Whoa! Salamat! Thank you so much! Now, we still have a pretty long ride back in this very muddy and wet road. And the sun's about to go down, so. Hopefully we actually make it out because we got stuck up to this point and the reason we got stuck is because we drove on this road <laughs> So here we go Adventure time You know what time it is I said it's adventure time Look at this mud it's so yellow just like bad I really run I really run Hey guys Right, we made it to the main road and we have some lovely muddy bikes but fortunately we found a man who's gonna wash our bikes off a little car wash <laughs> no hands whoa <laughs> if you guys come to Chargao I think probably are these all over the Philippines anywhere in the Philippines maybe you have to try some choco mucho especially this kind if you like peanut butter this yellow bar is a peanut bar. Mm. Anyway, we made it back here to Moonlight. And this is our last night here. Guys, we're leaving tomorrow. DJ, we're leaving tomorrow. What? <laughs> and tonight, we're going to celebrate our amazing times here in Chargao with some Tandoi rum. Well, I edit some photos. Check out these gorgeous photos in... Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Time to have a good time. Time to have a good time? Time to have a good time. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Alright guys, well instead of going out tonight, we've been sitting here and uh, I got really tired so I don't feel like going out. Even though it's our last night, we had a really great day hanging out with these guys. Hey. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Not <drunk. laughs> Just a and if you made it this far, really appreciate you watching. Go ahead and click that like button. And if you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And we got a few other channels here. Pema has a YouTube channel as well. And Pema Travels. Yeah. And there's also another YouTube channel over here. Why don't you plug Wandering that? Winker. That's not, that's not it. Hilo. <laughs> Do you have a YouTube channel? No. Oh. <laughs> he wants me to in make a Wandering Wanker. <laughs> well, he's got a YouTube channel. Very popular here in the Philippines. So if you are a Filipino and you speak Visaya, you might love his vlog. I'll link everything below. So go check out the description for links to everyone else's channels. And uh, I'm really tired. So we're going to go to sleep. And tomorrow we're going to leave Chargao, we're going to head to Manila, and we might bring you along for that journey, or we might just see you in Manila. Who knows? We'll surprise you in the next vlog. Alright, we'll see you there. Peace.